The day has finally arrived. After over a year of being the full auto advocate for the Doom Eternal community, I finally get to see this mod get some much needed love. Full Auto's main issue was how cumbersome it could be to work into your playstyle. It's outclassed in damage, so the movement limitations it put on the player were just too much for some players to get past, even if using the mod is fun and gives you shotgun shells on strategic heavy demon kills. Over the summer, during the live streams of Hugo Martin playing the game, he engaged in conversation with the chat about possible full auto buffs, and he took suggestions from speedrunner Bloodshot, Twitch streamer Arrhythmia, and YouTube superstar myself. There were a few videos made about possible directions to take this mod, I published two of those, PC modders even made a few mods that applied these changes to the gun so we could test them out. It was a really interesting conversation across parts of the community. And lo and behold, our wishes have been granted. Not only has Full Auto been buffed, but it's been buffed in specific ways that knowledgeable players have been asking for. They took feedback from myself and other players to figure out what needed to be adjusted. So to the weirdo commenting that the devs will never listen to my suggestions on Fall Auto and that making these videos for the devs benefit is some stupid waste of time, how about you suck my ass, bitch? In the 6.66 update, Fall Auto has seen some significant improvements. The wind-up speed and the wind-down speed have been sped up for the unupgraded version of Full Auto, making it feel a lot less sluggish in the opening levels of the campaign. It's a nice change, but not all that important. There's unfortunately no change to the wind-up speed for the upgraded version, so switching to Full Auto from Meat Hook for fodder kills hasn't been affected. They've also inserted frames into the beginning of the wind-down animation that allow you to interrupt the detransformation process, so you're not just sitting there waiting for Full Auto to wind down all the way before you can switch weapons. This is definitely the most important change to the mod for high-level play involving quick-switch combos. You can feel these changes right away. Going into the first room with Full Auto feels like a totally new experience. And once you get the precision bolt, you can definitely feel the swap speed change as you can go back and forth between the guns very smoothly. It doesn't feel like you're constantly interrupting yourself just because you're using the unupgraded full auto mod. There has been no increase to the fire rate, which I was pushing for, but I can live without it. It definitely would have been nice to get a little more DPS to compete with the Super Shotgun, and we are also unfortunately still stuck with the zoom in, which continues to perplex us. A huge change, however, is that the movement penalty has been reduced. So much that when you unlock the Fast Feet upgrade, the movement penalty is completely gone, and you can move freely. On top of that, they've taken out the movement penalty while shooting. It used to be that aiming slowed you down, and then firing slowed you down even further. You really had to figure out ways to cleverly use your movement to minimize how much this affected you. Well, now there's just no additional penalty when firing, so when this mod is upgraded, you can aim and fire at full speed. These changes make Full Auto feel more at home in the higher level Doom Eternal arsenal. You're not going to start seeing world record speedrunners use it, but that's fine. The gun feels smoother to incorporate into the game if you want to use it. That's great. It's going to make Stone Imps less annoying too. And remember, you shouldn't just be running around full autoing Stone Imps. Try stunning them with remote detonation and killing them when they're faltered, or locking them down with microwave beam. It's a lot more fun that way. So I'm happy. Victory for the full auto gang. If you're interested in picking up Full Auto, I'll quickly go over the main uses of it. In the early game of the base campaign, Full Auto is your up-close power option against Arachnatrons, Hell Knights, and Mancubi, and it's crucial to combine it with your Frag Grenade. The guaranteed hard falter locks an enemy in place, granting a large window for a Full Auto Assault. Look how smooth of a kill you get on an Arachnatron in level 1. With the weak point break and grenade, you get a double falter and full auto does the rest. Going straight in on an Arachnatron or Hell Knight with a blood punch into full auto is also very effective. In the upgrade path, I tend to prioritize the wind up speed so I can start firing faster, especially since the movement penalties aren't as severe now. If you want to master Full Auto, you'll need to have it fully upgraded before you enter the first arena of Doom Hunter Base. 
That fight has three pinkies you need to kill, so use your ice bomb or a frag grenade or remote detonation to get behind them and do full auto in the butt. If you kill every pinky, including the ones in the Slayer Gates, you should have full auto mastered by the time you enter the dining room and art complex. Now you've got Salvo Extender and can start doing executions. Make use of the faltering system to set up kills on heavy demons to get back 6 shells from each kill, and 9 shells from super heavy demons. From there, just work it in tactically and have fun with it. Fun is the name of the game here, and the new changes to full auto definitely make it easier to have fun with. Thanks for watching, I'll have another video on the other stuff in this update really soon.